Good morning, everyone. Today, we're gonna to be going over the Dumbbell Man Maker. Hopefully, you guys can see this full range of motion movement here I'm gonna demonstrate. Um, this is a great movement to incorporate a full body or a compound movement. Compound means multiple muscle groups that you'll be using. So I'm gonna demonstrate real quickly one rep to see what it looks like. Then from there, you guys can follow along and I'll go over kind of the teaching components um, of each part and then go from there. All right, so dumbbells will start on the floor. I'm gonna demonstrate a rep. That is one rep. So with a dumbbell man maker, the dumbbells are gonna start on the floor. I would say about shoulder width distance apart. That's gonna give you a good position to do your rows. So as I bring my hands to the dumbbells, I jump my feet out, preferably outside my shoulders. The wider your feet, the more of a stable stance you're gonna have compared to a narrow stance. So this will give you more support. From here, you'll do a push up. Chest will come to the floor. Dumbbells will be touched by your shoulders and you'll press up. From here, you're gonna row one arm back, elbow goes back behind the rib cage, dumbbell to the torso. You're gonna have to shift your load slightly as you row up. Then you'll switch, shift, do the other row. Then from there, I'm gonna jump my feet to outside my shoulders or underneath my shoulders. Then I'm gonna go into a full clean thruster. I'm gonna swing the dumbbell up, jump into the bottom of that squat, pop my hips, thruster dumbbells overhead, dumbbells will come back down to the ground. That completes one rep. So, this is a very spicy movement. If you've never done it before, highly recommend incorporating it into your training. Maybe start off with some reps on the minute. See how you feel. It will get your heart rate up super fast as I'm breathing. Clearly I'm talking and breathing at the same time, but this is a great movement. There are some ways to modify it, but let's go over some points that I want you to focus on. As I grab the dumbbells, again, I want them underneath my shoulders. I want my feet outside my shoulders, wider base, the more comfortable you're gonna be. Then as I row, I can bring the dumbbells slightly in if you want directly underneath the, shoulder, underneath the shoulders. One arm goes back. Notice as I go back, I'm trying to keep the dumbbell to my rib cage as I row. Then I'll switch, all right? So think of that row as a shifting a transfer of the weight. Now, you may have people do the rows first, then the push-up, or the push-ups first, then the row. I personally will do the rows, then the push-up, then into the rep, right? The squat clean thruster. Some people will do the push-up, then the rows, preferable, desirable interest is up to you. But think of it as making sure you're getting both in. So think of like a push-pull, right? So as I do my rep here, I do my push-up, then I do my row, row, then I drop my feet so underneath my hand, or underneath my shoulders. Then again, I like to pull myself underneath because that allows me to get right underneath the bottom position, then go straight into that thruster. Ideally, this is gonna save you time and energy if you do this, versus if I do this, it's almost like you're doing an extra rep. Nothing's wrong with extra work, but if you're looking for efficiency of the movement, from here I swing them up to my shoulders, pull myself under the squat, I'm driving my knees over the toes, hip crease below the top of the thigh, elbows away from my knees and I pop my hips, transfer them into the dumbbells overhead, and then come back to the ground. Now, for modifications, you can do one dumbbell, that is an option if you only have one dumbbell. It'll be a little bit of a slower movement because you have to change the body position, but I'll demonstrate. Right, so if I have my dumbbell, I would come down to the dumbbell. I could do my push-up, row, bring the dumbbell to the center of my body, switch hands, row, then go into that squat clean thruster with the dumbbell. And I would just alternate reps. So I would get each row in, but then alternate reps of where the dumbbell's gonna come to my shoulder and then going overhead. That is one modification. Another modification is if you have both dumbbells, right? I jump out, I can drop to my knees, Lift my toes, do my push up, do my row, row. Then I'll go to my toes, jump up, clean, and either just do the squat or do that full thruster. That is an option. Now, say you don't have dumbbells and you're looking for a body weight movement, this is a substitution for this. You'll go to that plank position. I'll do my push up. Chest and belly will actually touch the floor since so I'm not obstructed by the dumbbells. Then. I will do shoulder tap, right hand, left shoulder, left hand, right shoulder, jump my feet under my shoulders, then I'll do a jump squat. That's a modification if you don't have dumbbells, if you're looking for a full body movement. So give yourself, you know, maybe five to 10 reps to complete in a minute, which 10 is very spicy, but if you're doing the body weight version, 10 will be more obtainable. So 
If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, share the video if you find this beneficial. If you're looking for more coaching tips or specific movements that you would like to see, feel free to send me a message or leave me a comment of what exercises and movements you want to see. If you're looking for more and you want a more personalized coach and a plan, you can check out my app. The link is in the description below. That will take you to my landing page. You can sign up for my app. I have multiple different programs. I have a community chat group and I have a news feed that talks about nutrition, sleep tips, and more. I'm out of breath. Clearly talking and coaching and demonstrating at the same time is hard, but I appreciate all the support and I'm so grateful for everyone tuning in. Again, if you have questions, feel free to shoot me a message. If not, have a fabulous weekend and I will see you all on Monday.